This is Proverbs chapter 21 and 1. The king's heart is in the hands of Yahweh. As the rivers of water, he turneth it whithersoever he will. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakar Kodash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutation to you, Aki, and pushing this word with true sincerity, with charity, presenting your bodies as a living sacrifice. We who are ready to live salute you. All right. And I'm going to call this lesson Dance Monkey. <laughs> Dance Monkey. All right. And, um,. I was just thinking about this song. Uh, I probably can't play it. I'll probably get a strike. You know, a little dance song. You know, I'm like, I'm one of the brothers who likes to dance. I like to dance, babela. You know, I like to dance, you know. And um, I'm really thinking about how, in the spirit, how um, Esau, Edom, you're dancing to prophecy. All right. This is Proverbs 20 and 24. A man's goings of Yahweh. How can a man then understand his own way? Now look at the things that this, hold on. Now the moves this devil is making, man. All right. You know, it really shows that Yahweh Bashmi Asha is speeding things up, man. You know, these these heathens, you know, but you know, these heathens, even though they're going into World War Three, we understand how this ends. You know, and we understand that this devil is moving according to prophecy, man. Dance, monkey. Okay. You have to do everything that your hey, the scripture says his word shall not should not come back void, man. All right. It should accomplish that whereunto he sent it, man. And he said you're gonna do this, man. The least of the flock shall draw them out, man. And here we are. Here we are, if we've ever seen it, man. Why do the heathen rage and the people imagine a vain thing, man? You know, this devil is trying to fit in our shoes and he ain't Cinderella. He ain't Cinderella. Only Cinderella can fit them shoes, man. You the stepsisters, man. <laughs> you know, you read the story about Cinderella. They put her in slavery, man, and she was the most beautiful, you know? But look what this motherfucker's doing. Hold on. Israel's military said it struck over a thousand Hezbollah targets in Lebanon on Monday. And Lebanese authorities said those same strikes killed 492 people, including 35 children. A Lebanese official said it was the country's deadliest day in decades. Israel's military said it struck Hezbollah targets in Lebanon's south, east, and north, including, quote, launchers, command posts, and terrorist infrastructure. It released this video of what it said were airstrikes on Hezbollah weapons caches. On Monday evening, Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu... Dance, monkey. All right? The third woe cometh quickly, man. You know? The second woe is past, and the third woe is cometh, cometh quickly, man. The third woe cometh quickly, man. You know? All roads lead to the valley of Jehoshaphat, man. The valley of Yahweh Bashmi Asha's de de decision. That's where you're going, man. You know, and it'd be nice to see less fucking Edomite men in these in, in these little <laughs> shindigs, man. <laughs> you know, get you right out the way, boy. <laughs> you're going to war, man. Hey, the hey, nigga woman's going to war. They're going to slap a helmet on this bitch and throw her into this fucking meat grinder man all right you see you're gonna have to fight for that for them rights man 
Well, what the BC boys say, you got to fight for your right. You know, <laughs> you got to fight for your right to partay. <laughs> All right. This shit don't come cheap, man. You know, they got that saying, uh, strong men make um, good times. Good times make weak men. Weak men make uh, uh, bad times, man. Roughly paraphrasing that, that, that saying. All right. So so we're in the bad t- we're coming into the bad times now, man, because weak the weakest the 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 uh, what is it uh hold on, let me get it, man. Basis. <clears throat> right. <clears throat> Excuse me. This is Daniel's 4 and 17. This matter is by the decree of the watchers and the demand of the word of the holy ones to the intent that the living may know that the most high ruleth in the kingdom of men and giving it and giveth it to whomsoever he will. Right. And set it up over it the basest of men. So the Lord could the Lord took the fucking most weak motherfucker out of all the races, man. And 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 put him in power, man. Okay. So easy a caveman could do it, man. And that, and why? Because that shows the power of your how about Shamal Shah, man. You know? <laughs> See, Yahweh Shemashah is going to get his glory, man, whether you want to glorify him now or not. It doesn't fucking matter, man. All things redound to him. All credit goes to him. And uh, and you got it in your mind, Esau, that you, oh, what he says, uh, um, let me get it, man. Yeah, like you some fucking tough guy, right? Um uh, is Isaiah is Isaiah ten and thirteen. For he saith, by the strength of my hand, I have done it, and by my wisdom, for I am prudent, right? You're giving credit to yourself. You know, Scripture says, how shall the acts uh, boast against him that he was there with? You know, you're a fucking tool. You know, that's a, um insult they use here in America. They call you stupid. They call you a tool. <laughs> You know, and really that's all you are. And you even call yourself that, you know, when you when you look at the um military lingo, you know, they call themselves a hammer. And how about Shami Alshai called you a hammer, man? It was an insult to call somebody a hammerhead, man. You know, you're just a dumbass, man. You're brutish. But scripture says, yo, the uh, the council of Pharaoh has become brutish, man. You know. You know, the military, they have a, um, you know, American military have a saying. They said, if every problem is a nail, it says, if we're a hammer, then every hammer, then every uh, problem has to look like a nail. You know? And as right, Christian says, the hammer of the earth is broken asunder, man. The Lord is about to break you. All right? For he saith, by my strength, for he said, by the strength of my hand, I have done it, and by my wisdom, for I am prudent, and I have removed the bounds of the people, and I have robbed their treasures, and I have put down the inhabitants like a valiant man. Like, you know, that's how you portray yourself, you know, like 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 you're a super, superman, Shazam, <laughs> you know, and really you're just the vilest of men, man. You know, you you exalt filth. Filth is, is supposed to be buried, man. 
Filth is supposed to be underground, man. You know? Filth or dead things. These things are supposed to be underground, man. But you you exalt these things. Why? Because you're you're about as left hand as left hand can get. The Lord made you that way. You know? Can the Ethiopian change his spots? You can't change yourself, you know? <laughs> you're, you're the son of perdition. You are made to destroy until you are destroyed, you know? But we're, but, but we're seeing you move in a certain way where you're not in control no more, man. And you never really were. You never really were, okay? You know, that's all I'm going to read on this, man. But you never were in control, man. Yeah, how about Shemi Ashai is the potter? You're the clay, man. You're the vessel of dishonor, man. You know, the, the Lord the Lord is is moving chess pieces, and you're just a pawn, man. That's all. So dance, monkey. You know, I like that song, man. I wish I could play it, man. Dance, monkey, dance, monkey. Uh, 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 uh. Right? <laughs> Dance, you you monkey. You're a war monkey. Hold on, let me. You're a war monkey, man. <laughs> you know? <laughs> the Lord made you. You got to go to war, man. What, what the scripture says, man? Hold on. I'm going to come back to this monkey. All right. No peace to the... Uh, You know, you're creative. You're created to do a job, man. Y'all, Bashmi Asha knew he was doing when he made Esau, man. <laughs> All right, you are special. Don't get it twisted. This is uh, Isaiah forty-eight and twenty-two. There is no peace, said the Howard, unto the wicked. I mean, let me read a little bit more. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah, yeah, that was about it. Yep, that's it. Yeah, there's no uh there's no peace to the wicked, man. You know. You got to uh hey, you you live by the sword, right? You live by the sword. You got to keep swinging that sword, man. Otherwise what it says um um cease You know, you got you got to keep up the uh, bad work, <laughs> like like Scarface said, man. You got to keep up. You got you got to keep up the bad work, man. <laughs> it's Isaiah thirty three and one. Woe to thee that spoilest, and thou was not spoiled, and dealest treacherously, and they dealt not treacherously with thee. When thou shalt cease to spoil, thou shalt be spoiled. <laughs> right. When you start robbing, you're going to get robbed, man. <laughs> and when thou shalt make an end to deal treacherously, they shall deal treacherously with thee. And the only way you're really going to, you know, because, you know, as we see how this whole thing's playing out on a ground level, right? You tried to go into uh, uh, Syria, which is what the scripture says, Assyria shall be a ruinous heap, which is what it is. You know, let's look at, uh, yeah, it said Damascus shall be a ruinous heap. Hmm. <laughs> All right. But the Lord's getting, the Lord's getting ready to, uh, he's getting ready to do away with you. You know, 
you know, and really all the, the day of the Lord is near upon all the heathen, man. You know, Esau did all this shit and he, he you know, <laughs> these are, these are our heathens, man. What do you, you know, you destroying our, our property. <laughs> really? But hey, just like the scripture says, Damascus shall be a ruinous heat. You know, as is written, so shall it be done. You know, the Lord's going to make this place a desolation, man. You know, he's going to make Esau a desolation. And you're moving. You had to do this. You couldn't, you know, you tried to take down Assad. You couldn't do that. <laughs> Then you tried to go into um you tried to go into what was that? Um Venezuela. I believe that was Venezuela. You tried to take down Maduro, you know, replace him with that uh Northern Kingdom looking uh uh the nigga looked like Obama actually, believe it or not. <laughs> you know. He wasn't able to do that, so you ceased to spoil and the whole world saw that, man. The whole world saw that you couldn't you couldn't accomplish your mission. You could not accomplish your goal. <laughs> so when you cease to spoil, then you shall be spoiled, man. You know, now these people see that you're not able to uh you know, uh conquer and destroy like you used to. Now you are now you're looking like food, man. You know? Now you're looking um, weak. You couldn't knock those. And um, Venezuela is a damn third world country. You couldn't go in there and take that down. You know, you tried to go into um, uh, uh, Syria. You know, you ruined Damascus, but you didn't get Assad. <laughs> you know, that dude's still in operation. So you failed, man. You know, why? Because the Lord, the Lord rose up uh, Russia, the, the king of the, the Neo-Medes and, and, and stopped you, you know, was a guard unto them as scripture says they would do. Showing you that Yahweh Bashim is in control of this whole chessboard. He mustereth the host of the battle, man. There's nothing you could do. You know, you had the mindset. The Lord's just hyping you up, man. He's fattening you for the kill man you know and it's not going to be these nations that take you down and destroy you because the Lord's going to is about to jay down on all y'all man you know it said on his head was many crowns he about to jay that he said they, 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 they stopped the war that they had one with another then they tried to make war that's the war in heaven man if you can call it that, if you can really call it a war, you're not going to get one lick off the angels when they show up, bro. You know? So that's your mindset. By your hands, you did this. Nah, you're a puppet, man. You're a monkey. And you're doing everything that the prophets are telling you that you're going to do, man. We're telling you you're going to come for us. You're telling you you got agents amongst us we're telling you this we're telling telling you this telling you that <laughs> once you get destroyed you ain't gonna come back <laughs> all right <laughs> you're moving to prophecy man and we all are we all are we're all just robots yeah, that's why he saw he puts in his movie i control my his movies, I control my own destiny. I used to wonder why they say that in, in their movies so much. I, I control my own destiny. I'm the captain of my own ship and all that shit. Really, it's because they're rebelling against the Most High. And the fact of the matter is the Lord is about to destroy you, you know? So you're, you're doing everything that the Lord said you're going to do. And we're telling you everything the Lord said you're going to do. And you're doing everything the Lord said you're going to do. And you can't do nothing else. You Like the, uh, the you know, the Chicago brothers, and I was watching a uh, live, you know, 
they were talking about, you know, how you're trying to wiggle your way out of prophecy, how you're trying to do, you know, yeah, it says I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. No, every move you make, every move you make, (laughs) every step you take (laughs) is over with. Checkmate, game, set, and match. You know? You're done. Every move you make has already been written, wrote down, and calculated. You're not going to come your own autonomous being outside of what Yahweh Shah has prescribed for you to be and do. You know? Your story was written before you got here, man. You know, <laughs> and you're going to do it, man. You're going to do everything the Lord said you're going to do, and you're going to go down, you Edomites, exactly when the Lord said you are. You, your coon, your bought and sold coons, two-thirds of our people, and the rest of the heathens and idiots and whatever fucking other idiot exists. All right? So yeah, man, it's a little lesson and uh so